hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you an easy crock pot um chicken soup recipe that i do my kids love it my husband loves it and that says a lot because they're definitely picky eaters but i just figured during this time um you know when the kids are at home and we're looking for ideas of things to make this is simple and easy so i'm just using these chicken drumsticks because that's what i have in the freezer you can do this recipe with um any cuts of chicken you have and depending on which kind you have that'll affect your cooking time so i'm just going to go ahead um, and take these pieces of chicken out of the tray and drop them right into the crock pot i'm not going to bother um defrosting them at all and then i'm going to add the rest of the ingredients So now I'm going to be adding the veggies. I'm using carrots. Um, I put a lot of carrots in because the kids really like them. I put the carrots in now at this point because they're raw carrots, so they take longer to cook. If I had frozen carrots, I will put them in where you'll see later. But I have an onion also that I'm going to put in. I have red, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to add um, all of that into the pot. So now that I have uh, the carrots and everything cut up in there, I'm going to add some water, enough to cover everything over in the pot. You can add a little more, a little less. And then I'm going to add the seasonings. These are the seasonings that I like, um, but I pretty much will use based on what I have in the cabinet. And that's the point of this recipe, too. You can put it together using um, the items that you like and what you already have on hand. So I'm going to add um, these seasonings in there. I put it in the palm of my hand. I would say it's about um, like a teaspoon of each. And then I'm going to mix that up and then set the crock pot to get everything started cooking.
So now you have everything in there. You just want to set it to high, depending on um, how late in the day you put it on. Normally, if I start earlier, I put it on low. So I started later in the evening, as you can see. Now here, a few hours later, I'm going back in to check and see how everything is doing. Give it a mix. You can see everything is starting to cook down. The chicken is starting to cook up. The next step after this is going to be to remove the chicken from the bone. Um, but I, after I give this a mix, like I said, I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer until the chicken is almost all the way finished. Now, as you can see here, the chicken is all done. Um, you can see even in certain ones, it's starting to fall off of the bone. So what I'm going to do is take all the chicken out, remove the skin, take the chicken off the bone, tear it up a bit, and then that will go back into the pot. After that point, as you're going to see coming up, I'm going to add vegetables, the frozen vegetables at this point. Normally, I'll use broccoli, but I had green beans on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. But you can use any vegetables that you have. So here you see the chicken. Like I said, it's um, ready to go back into the pot. That purple hue is from my grow light on my house plants. <laughs> in case you were wondering, there are the green beans that I have. I'm going to go ahead and toss those in there. And at this point, everything is done. As you know, frozen green beans don't take much um, to be ready to go. So I'm just going to mix those in there, put the top back on, and put um, the crock pot on to warm and basically leave it on warm until the kids are ready to eat and at that point the green beans will be perfect now if you're using frozen vegetables I put them in at the end when the soup is basically done because I don't like my vegetables to become too mushy um, and so that's why I do that that way but here is the recipe like I said my kids love it um, they eat it like this with some crackers or sometimes um, my son likes to have a piece of garlic bread to go with it. You can also, if you want to bulk it up, make some noodles. I cook them on the side and then add them with, um, add them into each bowl so that they don't become mushy either.